second part of this little bonfire campfire tutorial. Now we animated the guy in the first section. Now I want to create this really nice uh, uh, fire animation as well. Um, to do that, uh, I will actually I will uh, I think I will just do a new composition. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, the standard size which uh, I created my project in I can do it a like this. So to do the fire, uh, first I I need a layer to to kind of hold because I'm using an effect and uh, to have a layer to use this effect, I just create a new solid. The color doesn't mind matter, but just so you can see, I like to have it different from my background color, so I can see I actually created the new layer. Then I will open my effects and presets, and I know I will be using the particles. So I just in the search field here type PRAT, and you can see I have three particle uh, simulation systems. So I take this CC particle world, uh, and you can see if I do like this, it'll give me sparks. It's nice, but I want fire. Um, so I need to, there's a lot of properties in the particle thing, but if you know the few ones you need to adjust, it's not that hard. Um, I'll go into the particle, I'll change it from line to this thing called faded sphere. Uh, and you can see I'll, it'll give me these uh, little fireflies, which is nice, but I will then take the birth size up to about 500 or 0.5. And what I will, I will uh, close this one. I will just keep these uh, colors there, fine. And I'll go to the physics. And you can see if I take down the speed, it'll do like something like this. Actually, I'll set the speed to zero because now you can see I get this kind of falling thing going on. Of course, there's a gravity parameter here. So if I I slide sideways and I make it negative. So, you know, gravity will be reversed. So, and I think I'll just have around one point, something like this. And bam, I have a fire. You can see it removed the background color of the layer uh, which I uh, used. So I can go back to my comp number one. And uh, here you can see I just take the comp number two and I drag it in here. Let's see if it fits. Can move it around something like this. And I can start playing. Wham! A fire ignites and um, starts to burn. If, you know, maybe if strange that the fire will just start like this, then you can see I take my comp number two, I grab the little bar going on here and I can just drag it sideways a little bit because then you know it will start in the middle of the fire animation and uh, it will look just like I want it. To finalize yeah you can uh, you can add some uh, cricket sounds and suddenly you have the atmosphere going. You can also search for uh, some fire cracks if you want to add that as well but actually this ends the little fire tutorial.